Hello, I'm Stephen Packer. You're joining us here live in Altrincham for tonight's clash against the uh, Manchester Storm and the Brayhead clan. I'm expecting a great game tonight. Huge travelling support of Brayhead clan fans to my left. Good turnout of Manchester Storm fans as well. Both teams getting towards the business uh, end of the season. Both looking to uh, get those vital points this weekend and what was vital for the Brayhead clan as they're scrambling and fighting for that eighth playoff spot. Throws it out along the boards, good pass. Get Storm right on the attack straight away. Baker looking as the puck comes flying towards the clan bench. And we have our first call tonight, a hooking call. Power play, I think, for Manchester. So Storm on to get their uh, first power play tonight. Clan's PK sitting at 80, just over 80%. So fourth in the league, very respectable. Hamalainen takes a draw for the clan. It's won by the Storm. Long drops it off to Becker. Becker looking to feed it back to the blue line. And Becker feeds it down low to Kieran Long. Good stick there by Cesson. It's across the pit. Pit fires it around the boards. Picked up by Becker. Looking out in front. Puck bobbling around. McKenzie gets the stick on it. Straight out to Stannis. Stannis puts a goal! Puck to the net. We've seen that night in, night out here in Altrincham. Matt Stannis with an absolute cannon of a shot from the blue line. Let's bring it back in his own zone. Managed to get hold of it. Feeds it across to Moffat. Storm looking to come out of their own zone. And they do that well. Byers with a bit of four, four uh, check pressure. As he lays a, a hit on the clan man. Burke on the far side. Feeds it across ice to Brendan Brooks. Brendan Brooks crosses the blue line, puts a shot, padded away by Clemente, and it's the secondary chance as Peacock puts it behind Mike Clemente and the clan level of things up here. Plenty of puck battles out there tonight, one on ones. Feature of this uh, building, those, that work along the boards, it's uh, so important here, Chris. Yeah, it, it's a lot played in close quarters to, to, to the other team, and, and you see that. It's hard to get any separation. Storm looking to answer back as soon as they can. Good pressure here. Springer just gets a, a shot away, but good stick there from Barry McKenzie. Scott Pitt, little space. So he spits. Pitt scores! From Hammond. Hammond with the feed and Pitt puts it away. Storm leading 2-1. Better stick handling. Tries to drop it off to Jacob Dotty. There's a stretch pass across the ice to Becker. He picks it up. He's been shepherded by Poulin. Poulin. Picked up by Kieran Long. Tries to drop it across. First time shot again by Pitt. Block it away by Nye. So dangerous that quick release from Pitt. Such a hard shot and quick. That in front. Kieran Long. Great save by Ryan Nye. This, this second period is racing away. Just nine minutes left. Yeah, it has gone by quite quickly. Brooks. Takes it in deep with a bit of pace. Goes around the cage. Peacock the first time shot. Just bounced off the side of the net. Clemente just lost the track. That'll be a briefly. penalty there for holding. The clan are going to go on the power play. Poulin puts it in. Clemente freezes that one off. So the clan now have a power play. Right. Put in front. Dangerous cross crease pass. Once again, Farman on the side. Clemente does well to freeze up against that post. Nice save there. Cross ice pass. 43 seconds remaining on the power play. Oslansky. Finds the bottom corner, power play goal for the clan, and it's 2 2. Nice. Possibly coming back the other way. Kieran Long looks like he's a little bit gassed at the moment. And for Kieran Long! Great oh save my. by Ryan Nye, what a save! Again. Ryan Nye standing on his head for the clan tonight. Some outstanding saves. Made it. Yes, yeah, I, I noticed that you didn't chance it this time and walking through the clan fans during no, the game. I, I, no, they, they have been friendly, but I don't really want to get caught in that again. <laughs> it could have been worse, I guess. We could have scored. We might have got lynched. I, I don't know that bad, but... <laughs> you did play for five, come on. Oh, if I play, I was playing for five. Dangerous out Hammond tries to wow. shout for Mike Hammond. Now that's the start you're looking for. Great. Here's Burt on the far side, twisting and turning. Feeds it across to Sullivan. 
Just uh, chipped by uh, Gutwald. Mente just controls that for his defenseman, Swindlehurst, who uh, clears the zone. Turnover again, though. No. Big hit by uh, Baker on Gut Gutwald. Very nice hit. Absolute textbook hit there. It's out in front, dangerous in front. And the clan score! Resulting from that huge hit, the puck went deep. Uh, Gutwald, the man who was taken down, he finds the leveler for the clan. Three each. A very similar in a way start to the third that we did to the second one team scores and the other one immediately responds yeah and we're all level again 18 minutes to go in this third period good stick handling down in front great what save by mike save. clemente that's a save of the game both netminders putting on a show here tonight right chris both both goalies are, uh, are, are doing well tonight in what must be a hard building for a goalie to play I'm actually talking i had a conversation with clemente about that um today and uh, he was saying it's, it's much he thinks it's much easier for a goalie to come into this rink than it is to find your angles on a bigger rink which was interesting he's pulling finds the back of the net one time and I think took a deflection out in front dead. might be uh, Le Pen I think that got the deflection it is from a dangerous feed for the clan Clan got a bit of jump in there. Still, good forecheck from the clan in this second period, in this third period. Excuse me. They're moving right now. They have played with some confidence. Le Pain takes it in deep. Brace giving him some support, looking to come away with the puck if he can. He does. Fed to the blue line. Sullivan one timer straight into the mid reef. Oh, that's a big save Mata. right there. Hopefully, settle things down here for for Manchester. Clown are looking for a delay of the game. Cool. They're it calling is. it. Yep. So Clown are going the power play. Dallas Earhart's going to have to sit for a delay of the game. He's uh, just pleading his innocence. Uh, that's quite a difficult thing to get the, the puck over the, the plex at that, that sort of angle. There's no better penalty killing when you're on the opposite end of the ice, Chris. Oh, exactly. Here they come again. Here's Hammond to Moffitt. Moffitt driving through. Moffitt, Moffitt backhand. Huge save by Nye. I think he might have won up the Clemente <laughs> there. Wow, what, what a the... pad save. Hammerlinen coming the other way. Puts it high over the netting. It's a break oh. here. Brendan Brooks one on one. Brendan Brooks. Huge save, save by Mike Clemente. Another one for the catalogue. We've been treated to some quite some stellar goaltending tonight. Hammond on the far side. Clemente heads to that bench. Hammond puts a shot on goal and it's gloved down by nine. Good. Take that. So Storm looking to reset in their own zone. Coming out with a bit of pressure and a bit of pace. Long fires it just wider than Nye's net. Storm do well to keep the puck inside the zone. Bios battling down hard. Kieran Long feeds it back to Pitt. Pitt cross. One time of Hammond's fanned on it. 12 seconds remaining in the third period. I think that's going to do it for the clan. Pulling with the empty net, it, it just is. drops it in. And after a topsy turvy game here at the Storm Shelter in Alteringham, the Brayhead clan come away with a 4 3 victory. That's going to be a bitter one for the Manchester Storm, Chris. Yeah, that's. Um that's, that's a tough one to swallow tonight. Ryan, was that the game that got away? Yeah, I think we, uh, I'm not happy with the way we played. We didn't have that killer instinct tonight. I think it was a team that was hurting coming in here, and we, uh, we continued to let them back in the game. Every time we took a lead, they'd come right back. And, you know, we didn't have, uh, we didn't have enough guys going. We had the usual guys going, uh, and then we had, we had half the team going, half the team were, were still sleeping. How do you listen for tomorrow? Well, I mean... <laughs> I mean, it's accountability. We got to show up and play. If you can't get up in this atmosphere, in this type of building. There's something wrong with you. And we had some guys that were, you know, minus two, minus three tonight. Um, and we can't afford it. We don't have a deep enough team, like we said. We can't afford to have passengers, and we can't rely on the same guys every night. So disappointed. I'm getting a lot. Of, I'm running out of patience with a couple guys right now. You got to get up and play if you want to compete and you want to take, you know, to be considered a, a top team. 
you better freaking show up and compete. And, and at tonight's game, for guys to have a bad night, it's just unacceptable. It finished Manchester Storm 3, Brayhead Clan 4 here last night in the Storm Shelter. And to uh, look ahead to tonight's game, the man who you just heard calling last night's game was rejoined in the commentary position by Stephen Packer. Evening, Steve. Evening, Lee. Bit of a frustrating one last night then for the Storm. I mean, they gave up the leads three times, started the third period quickly with a goal from Mike Hammond after just 19 seconds. Then they seemed to switch off a little bit, let Clan get two quick goals in, and, well, that's eventually what decided the game. It really was frustrating from a Storm point of view, and I think you could hear that in uh, Ryan Finity's post-game uh, interview. That really was one that slipped away for the Storm, and, and the difference being for me, I mean, it, was, it was close in the first, it was close in the second, and the clan, their levels of desperation and their commitment levels in the third just outworked the Manchester Storm, and that's so, so disappointing from a Storm point of view. Looking to bring that one away, a little bit of a, a bobble just as... Uh Scott Pitt was trying to get that one down the ice, but he does eventually. Kieran Long looking for the wraparound, and it comes round. Oh, and that was very close. The storm were off. Some fans were on their feet. Ryan Nye kept that one out. We're going to take a look at the replay of that one, because that must have been very, very close. I'm not sure how that stayed out. Kieran Long gets a bobbler across, and Ryan Nye just kind of throws himself to the right. The storm captain, Jay Rosal, involved in having a conversation with someone. Storm bringing this one up the ice, just loses out as he looked to get the shot away. Hammond will pick it up though. Under pressure. And we've got a delayed call coming. Clemente comes to the bench. First power play go to Manchester. Storm sent out the extra skater. That extra skater is Scott Pitt, comes to him. Oh. And he gets the shot away and that one is smothered between the pads of Ryan Nye. First power play of the evening on the way. And it's going to go to the Manchester Storm. And it's going to be a holding penalty. Last minute here, try and get something set up. Scott Pitt now onto the ice, bringing it forward for Manchester. Looks to get in behind the net, and that one dispossessed though once again by the clan. Good penalty kill so far from Brayhead. Storm trying to get this one through. And it's there! Long. It was Jay Rosen, I think, who did all the hard work on that one. And he gets the tip in in front of the goal as we come down and have a look at the replay. Jay Rosehill taking it in. Kieran Long puts in the rebound. Kieran Long on the far side. Matt Becker there as well waiting for it. Just waiting just to double check if it was Long or Becker who got it there. It's definitely Long, I think, who got that tip in on the far side. Good work by the Manchester Storm captain, though, driving towards the net. Passes it across, and it's Manchester Storm 1. Brayhead clan, nil. Storm looking to push home this advantage now. They've got the goal lead. And they're certainly not taking their foot off the gas. Moffitt once again battling down. He's got two clan players against him. Comes out to Trends, who manages to uh, deflect it, but the clan come away with the puck. Pull him. Shot comes away, and the Brayhead clan have got an equaliser. Straight away, I think Mike Clemente might be a little bit disappointed with that one. Looking to work some free ice. Stanis fires it in from the blue line. Bounces back out, looking to get it back out into that lane, but the Storm couldn't quite manage it. Backhanded pass from Kieran Long down into the corner. Becker behind the net to Pitt. Pitt gets it away. Acrobatics from Ryan Nye. He flicked it up into the air, fell onto his back, and then took that one in the glove on the way down. That clan's still on the puck, looking to work something once again behind the net of the Manchester Storm. Storm following through on all of their checks so far in this second period. Hansen. Two on two, can they find the skate? Here we, we have go. a fight. We've got a fight, it's Doty against Rosehill. Rosehill firing a couple of big lefts, loses his balance, they're back up though. This is the fight we were looking forward to once there. Both, both players throwing big right hands. Now onto the left we go, Rosehill goes underneath. Doty comes over the top. Big rights from Doty, big lefts from Rosehill. Tied up against the boards and the linesman. Looking to break that one in, Rosehill still throwing punches, still going. A great fight. Rosehill and Doty certainly don't want that one to be over. Linesman in the middle, referee Dean Smith saying that's enough, that's enough. A 
as Joe Rosehill and Jacob Dosey go and uh, have a sit down for five. You know, that was a well worth five. That was, that was entertaining and look at the life that's up brought into the building. Certainly brought a bit of life to uh, the Storm Shelter. Both sets of fans thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that battle. It's one we've kind of been waiting for all weekend. We thought it might have happened last night. We had to wait till tonight. Still looking to win the draw, which they do. Things coming alive here in Ordering on this Sunday evening. It's still one apiece. It's goals that count. And both teams looking to get the go-ahead. Byers chasing that one in. Hammond just had to keep his skates behind the line. Hammond picks that one out of the air. He's got Byers. In fact, Dane Byers actually got in the way as he went through. And we've got a penalty coming for hooking on. I think it's Landon Oslansky on his way over to the bench. So a power play once again for the Manchester Storm. They're going to stick yeah. on it, so we'll wrap it around. Becker's on the near side. Shot comes in through traffic. We've got a stick gone down. It's a Brayhead clan stick on the ice. I think it's a penalty on um, Manchester, but there's some confusion. Clemente went to the net. I'm, I'm not sure what they're calling. Shane Baker's off to the uh, penalty box, but we're going to be honest, we're not quite sure what for at the moment. S slashing. Was it a slashing? Didn't yeah. see the call. Yeah, but speed. It, Moffitt takes it around the net. Stannis is with him on the boards. Hammond's behind him as well. Now the Brayhead clan have a chance to break. Two on one. Chance for the clan, shot comes in, it's a goal, goes over the left shoulder of Mike Clemente. Clemente looks down at the ice in disgust. Battling away down in the corner now once again. The Storm looking to break, Shane Baker fires that one. Nye has to throw his paddle up. Storm looking to get it out in front of the net, which oh. they do, but there's a whistle. There is a whistle gone on the play. That one I don't think will count. Yep. Sescon has just stepped onto uh, into the penalty box. With full possession, there's no reason for the ref to be blowing the whistle there. Full possession, Manchester Storm got the shot away. They put the puck into the net. So the whistle literally did go a fraction of a second before the shot was uh, went off. And referees Dean Smith and uh, Andrew Miller just having a uh, conversation with Dallas Earhart. Held up in traffic. Chance for the clan once again to break. Stormer back for this one though. And the shot goes right across. And we're going we're gonna to have a whistle because we've got an injury. So I think it's Dallas Earhart. I have no idea how that's not a penalty. To storm number 10. Who uh, makes his way back to his feet. Storm looking desperately to try and get a tie-up tie goal before the end of the seconds. And we've got a penalty coming. And it's been called. I'm not quite sure. Sescon trying to drop the gloves with somebody. The linesman tries to step in and takes a tumble. Kieran Long and Sescon, well, I say they dropped the gloves. They kind of just... I think they were talking more, more, more than anything. Yeah. Looks like we'll probably be looking at four and four again or they're going to go over and grab Sescon. No, they're going to they're going to grab Sescon too, so it'll be a power play still for for Manchester. They're just going to probably call him unsportsmanlike or maybe roughing for for dropping their gloves and and talking. Hammerlining gets 2 minutes for holding the stick as Manchester Storm go in on the power play. Moffat trying to wrap that one around. It's up and in the air. It's loose. I think it's in. I think it's in. The Storm is saying it's there. It is in. The goal light came on late, but the referee on the far side gave that one. And Luke Moffat is leading the charge down the line. And he's a bit excited. He's pumped up. Storm win the draw, but it's come to the clan player on the far side. Storm looking to get it out of their zone. Two on two now. Three on three. It's Scott Pitt on the far side. He's got McKinney and Becker with him. Scott Pitt's still there. Pitt gets taken down to the ice. It kind of hits a clan player on the way through. Comes out to Storm Shot. Goal! Oh, Matt Becker. Huge, huge goal for Matt Becker. The puck came out to him. He found himself with loads of space. He let it rip. And Ryan Nye didn't see it coming. 
very good scoring form the last few games. Got a glove down on the ice. Oh, the are you kidding me? What a save. What a save. Ryan Nye, once again, standing on his head between the pipes for the clan, throwing himself full stretch. Hammonds brings it in, trying to get Moffitt through. Onto the skate of Moffitt rather than his stick. And that's oh. a shot on the blue line. Matt Stannis through traffic. And once again, the storm number 58 has fired it in from the blue line and it's gone straight in and straight through Ryan Nye. And we're just under three minutes of the third period on the clock. The Manchester Storm extend their lead. Manchester Storm four, Brayhead Clan two. And what a shot from Matt Stannis. Traffic in front, Byers standing right on the top of the crease. Nye couldn't see it and what a great job getting that puck through to the net. Baker. Looked to get it on the right hands, didn't manage to get the shot away though, as Stanis fires it around the boards. Shot comes in, pad save, wide open net, they just can't quite get it over the top of Ryan Nye, who once again has thrown himself across his crease, Chris. However, the Storm have the puck, I'm not sure if they realise it's an empty net. They should, Kieran Long just flashing that one in front of the crease. Storm chasing this one down. I don't think they knew that Ryan Nye had been pulled when they were coming through the neutral zone, Chris. That one will be in. That one is definitely in, and there is an empty netter. And it's 5-2 to the Manchester Storm. The gamble did doesn't look to off. have paid off. No, it did not. Something you see in the NHL a lot more now is the, is the early uh, early goalie pull, and, and there... There's a net falling right over top of Clemente. So Mike Clemente is playing the proverbial net minding turtle there as the net gets pushed off and over the top of him. Comes to the near side. Two on two with Baker and Hansen. Baker gets it cross ice. Hansen gets it through and Nye once again somehow, somehow Ryan Nye has managed to get something on that between the pipes of Brayhead and kept this one a 5 2 game with that familiar chance here in the Storm Shelter. Still a chance for Clan to get a puck on net though. Comes out to Sescon, he fires it in. Comes off Clemente and goes wide, 15 seconds left. Storm taking it back up into their offensive zone. Moffitt. And that's a, that's a good response win here for Manchester. The puck goes high and the clock runs down. And the spoils over the weekend have been shared. It's finished here this Sunday evening in Altrincham, Manchester Storm 5, Brayhead Clan 2. Two points tonight for Manchester, two points last night for the Brayhead Clan to take back up to Glasgow with them on their journey home later on this evening. And as Chris has just said, that was a big bounce back performance from the Storm. A little bit slow getting going in the first. But when things got fired up in that second period, the storm really got into that one.